Hey, what's going on guys? It's Brainbean here again. And in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at another gaming keyboard. This one's got some really interesting, unique design choices going on. We're gonna be taking a look at the Bloody B945. So let's go ahead and just take a look at this thing. The Bloody Gaming B945 is a mechanical keyboard with a really cool, refreshing design. The B945 has the exposed switch design that has become sort of the industry standard these days, but what's really cool about it is that it has the number pad on the left side of the board. I'm a huge fan of this design because it has multiple advantages. First, it gives you the ability to have your mouse a lot closer just like you would with a 10 keyless keyboard. What I really like is that not only do you get the mouse proximity, but you can use the number pad as a macro pad which basically is 18 extra macro keys. You of course also have the number pad for productivity usage as well, but you'll have to get used to having it on the left side. The board itself feels solidly built, it has a little flex when mashing down on the keys but definitely not the worst that I've seen. The board has an aluminum top plate that is kind of an industrial design with the somewhat large metal screws popping out of the top plate. As for branding, there's a not too intrusive bloody logo located over the arrow cluster which is fine by me. And you can also see the bloody logo located next to the LED indicators but again, it's not too in your face or obnoxious. The bloody B945 comes with a metal detachable wrist rest that has a nice rubberized coating with a really cool bumpy texture that feels incredible. Admittedly, I was a little skeptical of such an unusual design when I opened up the box, but the texture combined with the coating makes for a really nice feeling. I also like that the wrist rest is nice and wide, which is perfect for any hand size. A lot of the times I end up with my wrist resting on the desk anyways because the wrist rest is just too short. As for the lighting, the B945 is an RGB keyboard. It uses Bloody's own light strike switches, which I'll talk a little bit more about later but these switches do a really good job at providing nice, bright, vibrant colors. There isn't really any light spillover in between the keys, which is good if you like a clean look to your keyboard, but if you want max RGB, it could be a little bit of a bummer. The board comes with six onboard lighting presets, which range from your standard color wave to a weird flapping bird animation, but I'll give them credit for having something original. There's also some pretty cool looking light panels on either side of the board for some ambient lighting as well. The keyboard is controlled via Bloody's Key Dominator software. In the software you can configure up to 10 lighting profiles which can be either static or even custom animations. The software gives you the ability to create any animation you can think of. It does take some time to program it though, as you do have to do it frame by frame. Like I mentioned, the B945 uses Bloody's own light strike switches which they manufacture in house. These switches come with two varieties, the brown switch which is a linear switch and orange which is clicky and tactile. Like their name implies, the light strike switches are optical, meaning that they use light to register keystrokes rather than metal on metal connections. Optical switches are certainly becoming more mainstream due to their responsiveness and longevity because they don't suffer the same wear and corrosion as traditional switches. Bloody switches have a 3mm total travel and a 1.5mm actuation distance. Much like the Romer G's, I think that the 1.5mm actuation distance is the perfect blend of speed and functionality as you won't have as much issue accidentally hitting keys. In terms of performance, the LK switches are really tight. They have a pretty interesting design that is a mixture of what looks like a traditional switch with a stabilizer. This makes these switches have almost zero key wobble, making them feel super solid. I had the opportunity to test out both the linear and clicky switch. The linear switches are silky smooth and are by far my favorite. The clicky switches also feel really solid and they do have a nice crisp click to them. Overall, it's nice to see a new take on mechanical switches and even nicer to have them actually feel good to use. Considering the cherry designs we use today were created in the 80s, it's nice to see a company introduce new ideas, and it'll be interesting to see if there's any industry adoption of this design in the future. Of course, you guys know I wouldn't leave you without a sound test, so here's a sound test of both the linear and clicky LK switches.
The keycaps on the B945 are made from ABS plastic and have a nice minimalistic font. The characters are mostly well illuminated with a few only partly illuminated and you can see some of the lines created in the molding behind the lighting. It's not too distracting unless you're really looking for it, but I do think that they could be a little bit better. In terms of use though, I am a fan of the smooth texture and the angled bottom sides look pretty cool without making them feel weird. The switches are also Cherry MX keycap compatible, so you can still have plenty of access to custom keycaps. In terms of extras, the B945 comes with the wrist rest that we talked about earlier. In addition, they do give you two different sets of eight keycaps in Q, W, E, R, A, S, D, and F. The first set is a set of clear keycaps, which look pretty cool, especially when you're playing in the dark. The second set are silicone coated reddish orange caps that have an angular design as well. And I imagine that that's so that you can easily identify them by touch. The board also has full N key rollover and a nano coated PCB for added spill resistance. The keyboard doesn't have any dedicated media keys or volume scroll wheel, but it does give you media control via the function key. You also won't find any USB or audio pass through, which would have been pretty nice to have. As for some other basic details, the board has four orange LED indicators for their respective functions located over the number pad, and the cable is nice and braided and feels like it's a nice quality. The underside of the board has four thick rubberized pads and two rubberized extendable legs that keep the board nice and sturdy and in place during use. Overall, the B945 is a really cool keyboard with some interesting design happening. As a reviewer and a lover of keyboards that's done close to 100 keyboards by now, at this point, it's refreshing to see a keyboard that reimagines the standard designs and tries something new. I really love the idea of having the number pad on the left side of the board, and the LK switches are really great. The keycaps could be a little bit nicer in terms of their luminance, and the software, while not super user friendly, does give you a ton of options. I always love having extras come with a keyboard, and Bloody made sure to include some great extras with this one. At $149.99, the B945 is going to cost you a pretty penny. The design's not going to be for everyone, but the quality of the switches and the utility of the left-sided number pad make this board something that I would definitely recommend if you're interested. Well, that's it for the review, guys. Let me know what you think about those light strike switches and that left-sided number pad down in the comments below. Of course, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Give it a big thumbs up to show your support. And if you're new here and you'd like to see more, I'd love to see you guys subscribe because I've got a lot more videos like this one coming out in the near future. You can also follow me on Twitter at BrainBeanGaming to stay up to date with what's going on with the channel. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.